oxidation of phenols. You may be saying, phenol is just an alcohol on a benzene, and, um, well, alcohols can be oxidized. So a phenol should be able to be oxidized, just like an alcohol. But then when you look at a tertiary alcohol, you see there is no alpha proton. And so you can't oxidize a tertiary alcohol, right? There's no reaction there. So you might naively think then that the phenol has no alpha proton and we can't oxidize that. However, it does have this proton and those pi bonds are completely delocalized through the ring. So the answer is yes, a phenol can be oxidized. When you react a phenol with Jones reagent, you get benzoquinone. And you can't go from benzoquinone back to phenol. However, benzoquinone is part of a redox couple with hydroquinone. So, benzoquinone being reduced to hydroquinone, hydroquinone can be oxidized back to benzoquinone. And, um, in the body, biologically, we use a variant of benzoquinone called CoQ10, or coenzyme Q10. And CoQ10 um, catalyzes uh, this reaction in the body where we make oxygen into water, right? And so that's actually... Um, using oxygen as an oxidizing agent. In the first step of this process, we take a ubiquinone like CoQ10, and we react it in acidic conditions, and um, we use NADH as our hydride donor, and that gives us NAD+, and now we have this benzoquinone, I'm sorry, hydroquinone. That hydroquinone in step two then acts as a reducing agent for the oxygen molecule. And so you go back to your CoQ10 and you've made water out of your oxygen. So ubiquinone, this is a biological oxidizing agent and NADH and NAD plus couple the NADH is our um, biological reducing agent you certainly couldn't have uh, Jones reagent and sodium borohydride in your body you would so die so here's NADH it's nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. The dinucleotide is two ribose um, sugars linked by a diphosphate, dinucleotide. And this is the nicotinamide. And right now it's in its reduced form. So it's got an extra hydride right here. Okay, so this is a nucleophilic hydride donor. Just like uh, borohydride or aluminum hydride ion uh, donates a hydride ion, this can do nucleophilic attack as well. And of course when it does that, there is some other movement of electrons, like that and like that. And so you end up with the um, NAD plus, the oxidized version. And so, if we're starting out with NAD plus, we can react that with an alcohol and a base and enzymes to um, turn the NAD plus back into NADH 
and the alcohol becomes a ketone, and we get the conjugate acid. And all of this is part of the citric acid cycle. Right, how you turn ADP into ATP. So, um, you can actually purchase this stuff at health food stores. It's super expensive, but if you need to pull an all-nighter and study, it's actually pretty effective. It gives you lots of energy.